foresters use the term hardwood in reference to deciduous trees, or those that lose their leaves during winter. Hardwoods are the most common trees found in the Hudson Valley, and there are eight key ones you should learn to identify. Sugar maple is the state tree of New York and can be found in most woodlots. With the leaf, look for a smooth edge with rounded inner lobes. Sugar maple bark is variable and changes with age. Smooth when young, the mature bark consists of strong vertical plates that stay firmly attached to the tree. They don't shed or rub off easily. Looking up into the tree, look for leaves and stems located on opposite sides of the branches. This is a characteristic of maples. The next tree is red maple. It is one of the most common trees of New York. The leaf edges are finely serrated and the inner lobes form a V. This will help you distinguish it from the sugar maple. Red maple bark is very similar to sugar maple. It changes with age and can be highly variable. Smooth when young, the mature bark is shaggy with loose shreds that curl and can be rubbed off easily. Looking up in the tree, red maple has leaves and stems located on opposite sides of the branches. Next is the tulip tree. The shape of its leaf is unlike any other, making it easy to identify. Tulip tree bark is heavily furrowed. The ridges are light gray to brown in color, in contrast to the white inner fissures. Looking up into a tulip tree, you'll notice that it grows very fast and tall. You will seldom see any lower branches on the bottom half of the tree. Oak trees can be divided into red oak or white oak categories based on the leaf. The red oak group have leaves with pointed tips, while the white oak group have leaves with rounded or blunt tips. Northern red oak is a great example of a pointed tip leaf. The bark of northern red oak is smooth when young. With age it develops hard, flat top ridges with shallow furrows. Looking up the tree trunk and on large lower branches, northern red oak has areas with smooth bark that becomes stretched by fine furrows. The white oak category is best represented by the tree of the same name, the white oak. Leaves of white oak have rounded tips. The bark has thin furrows that extend slowly, eventually dividing the bark into thin scales that are sometimes rectangular. When looking up into a white oak, look for the bark to transition from the small scales at ground level to loosely arranged overlapping plates, like shingles. Black locust has a compound leaf. It is made up of several oval leaflets arranged along a stem, forming a single leaf. There are often 15 or more of these leaflets. Also, look for short, stiff spines where the leaves meet the branches. Black locust bark is thick, yellow-gray, and very hard. It has irregular ridges that create very deeply furrowed bark. Looking up a black locust, you see the furrowed bark continuing high up into the trunk. Its seeds mature in pods that are three to four inches long. These pods are dark, thin, and conspicuously hang in the tree through winter. Norway maple is a non-native landscape tree that escaped cultivation and is now naturalized in many wild areas. Norway maple and sugar maple leaves are similar, having smooth edges and rounded inner lobes. To tell these maple leaves apart, take a leaf and break the stem. The Norway maple will bleed a milky sap, the sugar maple will not. Norway maple bark is thin with shallow furrows. This is distinctly different from sugar maple. Looking into the canopy of a Norway maple, you will see leaves and stems on opposite sides of the branches like other maples. The final hardwood we will review is the tree of heaven. This is also a non-native tree that is naturalized and now inhabits wild areas. The leaves are compound with between 10 to 40 leaflets that each taper to a point. The leaf can reach up to 3 feet in length. When broken or crushed, the leaves have a strong peanut-like odor. Tree of Heaven bark is smooth and gray. Looking up at the crown of a tree of heaven, look for their conspicuously large leaves on stout twigs.